What's up, players? It's Jeff from 10 Lads Space here, bringing you episode number six of my Euro 2012 Expedition Mode uh, series. Now, basically, this is where we try and get all the mosaic pieces and complete uh, the Expedition Modes mode of the FIFA 12 Euro 2012 DLC. So, uh, basically, today we're going up against Northern Ireland and then the Faroe Islands. And, uh, yeah, first game is Northern Ireland, and uh, basically... Uh, if you guys could smack that like button, I really would appreciate it. If we get this to like 40 likes, that'd be absolutely insane. So there's the challenge. Set it down on the table. Can you make it? Uh, we'll have to find out, I guess. But uh, I'm basically going for a record number of likes this month, so I'd really, really, really appreciate it if you could uh, help me out with that. Thanks. So uh, yeah, anyway, on to the episode and on to the gameplay. Uh, Northern Ireland pretty much had us pinned down for the majority of the first half. It was only really in the second half where we got going with a really nice chance down the left-hand side, starting with Bale, and then it falls to uh, my my pro who, you know, just doesn't get anything on it in the end, which is frustrating. Uh, but, yeah. And then they hit straight back at us with a, another really good chance. Uh, very fortunate not to get a ricochet and end up going into our net there. Pretty fortunate not to be 1-0 down at this point. And then on the 90th minute, we get an absolute power header, but it is unfortunately offside, only by the tiniest bit, I guess. Um, but yeah, very annoying. We finally get something on target and stick it in. Uh, in the first half of extra time, this was pretty much the only major chance, uh, a powerless free kick by Bale straight into the keeper's grasp. But uh, we did get another chance uh, here. Uh, Bale again down the left. He just sort of finesses it and ends up doing the double miss. Pretty good chance. Maybe should have passed it. I don't know. The other two were marked, so maybe wouldn't have actually fallen to them. And then they come through here and hit the post. Very fortunate not to go 1-0 down there. And it would have been pretty tragic. But here we keep the ball in just at the, uh, at the baseline. Then we keep it in at the sideline. And, you know, two really, really lucky things. And uh, you think, well, that's not really relevant. But Angle goes on an absolute tear down the right-hand side bombs it down the right hand side, whips a nasty ball in to the front post, doesn't do anything, comes back up to Bale who finesses it beautifully into the far post and there we go, 1-0 in the second half of extra time, it's got to be good right? Uh, unfortunately the next clip is a clip of them doing the dirty and uh, yeah I thought that was a very very soft penalty, he basically ran into me and then fell over so pretty annoying to concede and uh, to go 1-0 um, in such a way but as it did go to penalties, I did know which way it would go, but I still didn't manage to save it. So it goes 1 all, and then they step up with Brunt, 2 1. Then we have Bale, 2 all, sticks it straight down the middle. Then they come up, don't know who that player was, uh, 3 2, 3 all, nobody's missing, nobody dares, you know, do anything stupid. 4 3 there, and comes to my guy, 4 all, still nobody, nobody's missed. 5-4, nobody's missed pressure on my penalty. Chips it down the middle like Perlo and Ramos. Cheeky, well, especially to stay in the game. 6-5, stay in the game, we do, 6-all. And then here, 7-6, still in the game. 6-5, uh, sorry. And then 6-all, and then bam, hits the crossbar and only just stays out. And then it falls to Smalling, English centre-back. We just blast it down the middle and then we win. So we managed to beat Northern Ireland. We get a mosaic piece and a reserve player, which is a goalkeeper. Pretty useless. We reject him. Uh, well, we'll actually be swap him out for my substitute keeper. But as there's no injuries on this game, then, you know, we're never going to use him. There's the uh, mosaic piece. So we're almost getting there. I think we've got like 20 out of 180 at this point, having uh, played these two matches now. Uh, but yeah, Faroe Island's pretty good side. <laughs> They were, t they, were, they were better than they should be. Uh, we we made them look good, to be perfectly honest. I mean, oh no, Slovenia, sorry. Faroe Islands is the next episode. Uh, Slovenia, Slovenia are genuinely a good side. I actually do rate Slovenia. Uh, very, very nice indeed. But anyway, there's one all already, straight out of the bat. Um, and Slovenia, they're, they are a good side. I think they were unluckily, unlucky not to go through the group stage during... Uh, during the Euros that we just had. Um, but, you know, what can you do? They were in a tough group, to be perfectly honest. And look at how lucky that was. If you didn't see that, basically the ball came in and my defender um, b blasted it against my keeper. Somehow not an own goal. We had a good couple of chances there, but it's still 2-1. And then here was probably the best chance of the lot. Bale absolutely does that guy, you know, 
leaves him for dust, whips in a nasty ball to a free Coco Pops and uh, he heads it straight at the keeper and really should have scored because that would have definitely seen us uh, into a penalty shootout. But that's the end of the episode, guys. So I'd like to thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace.